I'm trying to figure out how to hold them. I'm trying to hold three devices at once, you know. Maybe I should practice and use three at once. That would be an entertaining night, I suppose. <laughs> We like really bright colors, you know, you'll see it in some of our artwork and some of our logos. We thought we would introduce the B in some really bright colors. We wanted to go with that 90s neon theme, thinking about those old, old windbreakers and such, so they stand out. We kind of figured these would too. Something vibrant, something that's going to capture the attention of the customer walking into a store and go, whoa, what is that? When it came to choosing the color, I was actually really happy that there was some other people on the marketing team that took it upon themselves to say, you know what, we got this. That was kind of a meeting of the minds. Um, I kind of limited my input there. As you notice, we uh, went with a brighter approach this time. Reminds me of uh, like the sunglasses and stuff you get in the cereal boxes during the 90s. I don't think there's anyone that I've come across in our whole company that doesn't like the colors because they're just, they're bright. They're they're exciting, they're fun. Bright neon green, a super awesome hot pink, and it's just a nice bright blue. I call this one the blue bee. It's blue and it's a bee. The pink, well, we actually really like pink. Uh, the rosium, which has been a pretty consistent color for us on the M's. I, I don't have a name for the pink one yet. The green, that was an easy one. I particularly like the green myself. Very nearly Dynavap green. You know, it's actually a little bit brighter, but. The green one, it really likes black light. I'm a huge fan of all three of them. I, I personally really like my bright colors, if you, if you haven't noticed. We really like color. We know quite a few people out there do too. The colored bees are really just the sorry, you know. Silicone's a very neutral material. So if we start with effectively nothing, it's kind of a clear translucent color. We can then make it almost any other Pantone from there by adding various uh, dyes and pigments. Silicone, there's so much that you can do with it. Glow in the dark. You can do all the different swirl patterns. Maybe mixtures of different colors and, and just getting kind of weird with it. UV reactive. We could do all of that and that's kind of exciting to know that we have ease of expandability. We're gonna have to do some more exploration to see not only what other colors are available but are there new ways that we can incorporate maybe colors that haven't been seen before? And I think that there is. The 90s neon that we have going on here is really just the start. To me, this is kind of like just the beginning of the new entry level product. Not that I want to change it like right now. <laughs> you know, there's always room for improvements, but I love what this is right now and I love the functionality. We're really happy with how the, the design of the bee turned out and it seems like a lot of people are really reiterating that. The general response is, wow. This just does it for me. The reception was what we were hoping for. I think that, um, you know, it is resonating with the customer the way we wanted it to. This, this product ticks a lot of the boxes. I had no idea that something like this even existed. Uh, it was a pretty common response. It's like, well, welcome to the Dynaverse. And it does exist. <laughs>